Hi, Axiom 3.19 is ready to ship. I'm super excited about this release. I'm going to take you through everything that is new. Before I do that, I just want to say a big shout out to the team. Awesome job. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, our brand new debugger. I'm going to open up Axiom. I've got a bot that will run and it'll throw an error. It just has. I'm going to click debug. And here on the right, you'll see our new debugger. We've got options to hide steps that um, aren't throwing errors, so we can focus on the step that is. And then we've got this nice little fe feature. So if we click go to step, it will navigate to that step and it will expand it, focusing our attention on the issue we need to solve. That's pretty cool. We've also moved the continue on error box there, so it's easy to find. That box, if you haven't used it before, if you tick it, You'll override any errors being thrown by your Axiom and it'll continue to run. Furthermore, we will be developing this feature further. We're going to add in data previews into the debugger. We'll also add in breakpoints, so it's very exciting. Okay, next up, our second new feature for this release is our ChatGBT text generation step. Now, if I quickly expand Axiom here, it's a sub-step of the interact step. Search for GPT and you'll find the step. Add it here, add your API key, insert your prompt. Axiom will now send that off to ChatGBT and then it will return some text, which you can then pass into other steps like enter text. So you can then use it for things like DMing. That's pretty cool. Third big change is in our scheduling. We have listened to our customers now, pro tiers are above on your desktop, not on the cloud. On the desktop, you can now schedule your frequency to as low as every minute. Features four and five are very much for our Google users. Now you can not only delete rows from a Google Sheet, you now added a step that allows you to, let me just show you, add step. I'm just going to search for clear. Now you can clear a data range from a Google Sheet. Simply specify first cell and last cell, and obviously the sheets you want to remove the data from. Okay, so that's an alternative method from our delete rows from Google Sheet. Also, we've added a new sub-step in there. If I search for it here, screen, you can now not only save screenshots locally, but you can save them straight to your Google Drive. Lastly, of the big features this release, we've added a new button to the VPS servers that our ultimate customers use. So now you can simply Click that button and reset your server when you need to. We've also made a lot of minor fixes to Axiom. The ones I'm particularly excited about are that you can now pass a variable into your max cycles in jump steps. I particularly like that one as I do use a lot of jump steps. Also within jump steps, again, you can now um, reset the count once they're finished, which I find that really handy. So now you can do a repeating loop of say five steps and when the bot jumps back above that you'll then have five more more loops so i'm going to find that really useful if you want to read more about the minor fixes go to our website axiom.ai slash release hyphen notes thank you very much and before i go keep watching because i'm about to show you something coming up in the next release fingers crossed it's a pretty awesome change to axiom I've loaded up the development branch of Axiom. I also want to say a big shout out to Boris at this point because he is neck deep into developing something that has been very challenging. We've done our best to support him, but it's a hard problem. Basically, we've been working on nesting for Axiom because at the moment we have just the one level of nesting, as you all know, and we want to have more levels of nesting. In fact, we're going to have four levels of nesting in Axiom. And we're confident this is ready to ship soon. You'll also see a start from template link here. So we've kind of been changing things around and we're really excited about this next release. But in particular, I can't wait to see this. I've just added an interact step. We might change the name of the interact step. And now I'm going to do this. I've just nested an interact step inside another interact step. And we're going to have four levels of nesting. That's going to make building axioms really easy. That's going to make making templates to share with you all really easy. We're super excited about this change. We can't wait to ship it. As you can see, it's really, the feature's going well. It's going in the right direction, but we've still got a bit of work to do, but it will be with you soon. Thank you.